Um, happy Nowruz to everybody. We need a new beginning, actually a new beginning of the debate about Iran and about the negotiations, quote unquote, with the Iranian regime. And I can tell you that every single day I receive so many questions. People are concerned. People are shocked. People are surprised by the fact, not that we are negotiating, but that we are negotiating with a regime that did not send signals that it is changing. Iranian regime pilots, it was reported, were bombing, not in Iraq, in Yemen. Iranian pilots sent by the regime were bombing Aden, that far south, away from Iran. This is not a regime that is preparing for peace. Having said that, we understand that the regime is not going in the direction that our negotiators think it is, and it won't. Because the regime is expanding simply, as many of the prominent speakers have mentioned, including the senator, it's afraid of its own people. That's the key. When a regime is concerned about the trust of its own people, when a regime saw what happened in June of 2009, millions on the streets, 60% under the age of 20, quarter of them the first few days were girls and, and, and women. When the regime is very concerned about the fact that uh, the Iranian national resistance can gather up to 100,000 in Europe and in Paris, and that indeed its leader is a woman, and that the Iranian resistance movement is getting more and more supporters inside Iran, not just within the ethnic majority, but also with the ethnic minorities. Obviously, obviously, what they're trying to do in terms of expanding in the region, what they're trying to do in terms of obtaining the nuke, is because they are afraid of their own people. The nuclear bomb that the Ayatollahs are trying to establish is to protect them from their own people. So the big question, is what to do. And let me in one minute or two quickly uh, make a few suggestions that are a little bit uh, non-usual and not traditional. Congress and a bipartisan majority, and I insist on bipartisan, needs to also address the Iranian people, needs to listen from the Iranian people. Let's declare that Camp Liberty should be protected internationally. We have an international obligation, not just an American obligation. And when we send when we send on taxpayer money our budgets to support the Iraqi government, when we send trainers, when we are partnering with the government in Baghdad, the least we should do, the least we should do is to ask this government to back away, to leave that camp, to put it under international protection. We have an obligation towards them. So I call here at the end for a gathering of all the oppositions in the Middle East to show that the next Middle East wants to be different from the one under the threat by the Ayatollahs or the Islamic fundamentalists of Daesh. Thank you so much for having me today.